As astronauts get ready to go back to the moon and spend more time in space, they'll need better gear to help them survive. The first thing on the list, it's definitely the spacesuit. Yes, a spacesuit is more like a miniature spacecraft you're wearing around your body more than an item of clothing. It's pressurized, it's decked out with life support, and it's likely to look pretty cool. But should the suit fail, you're toast. In fact, no one has ever died of a faulty spacesuit, but that doesn't mean current models are perfect. Whether it's for a launch into space or re-entry back to Earth, or for an extravehicular activity, astronauts have never been completely satisfied with the gear they're forced to put on for a mission. Fortunately, though, the flurry of new activity in space has meant we're seeing more innovation in spacesuit design and more performance than ever before. And this is when Elon Musk's new high-tech spacesuit humiliates NASA. Welcome back to Alpha Tech. Don't forget hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now let's dive right in to today's episode. Since SpaceX Dragon came into operation in place of the baggy orange advanced crew escape suit, affectionately nicknamed the pumpkin suit, that space shuttle crews were wearing when launching into orbit, SpaceX designed something that's more form-fitting and half the mass. Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin, the astronauts who went up on the Crew Dragon for the ISS the first time, remarked they were extremely comfortable and easy to get on and off. Suits that are worn during takeoff and re-entry are designed to protect astronauts from fire, and they plug into seat umbilicals that carry oxygen and cool air in case the cabin depressurizes for some reason. In the event of capsule depressurization, the suits would be able to keep Dragon astronauts alive inside the capsule for at least a few days, supplying them with clean air and maintaining enough pressure to avoid altitude sickness or worse. The most interesting work, however, has to do with SpaceX's next-generation spacesuit for astronauts going out to walk on the surface of another planet or moon. Revealed earlier this year, the Polaris program is sort of a hybridization of orbital spaceflight tourism and technology development and has one primary goal, to rapidly advance human spaceflight capability. Crafted in partnership with SpaceX by billionaire and Shift 4 Payments founder Jared Isaacman, who also funded and flew on SpaceX's first private Crew Dragon launch, Polaris aims to pick up where the Inspiration4 left off last year. While it will still be affiliated with and seek to help St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, the Polaris program will focus on the development of several crucial technologies that SpaceX will need to accomplish its ultimate goal of spreading humanity throughout our solar system. One of those crucial technologies is a cheap, reliable, and easy-to-use spacesuit that would allow future SpaceX astronauts to work outside of the safety of their spacecraft in the vacuum of space. This means the new SpaceX EVA suits will feature more advanced technology to allow the Polaris Dawn astronauts to safely leave the spacecraft's pressurized cabin to conduct the first-ever commercial spacewalk at an altitude of approximately 500 kilometers above Earth. A program representative announced via Twitter and shared a photo of some of the crew members seeing the suits. The new EVA spacesuits are upgrades of the current IVA suits. Like Isaacman said, at the moment I was mostly thinking about what it means for SpaceX when they're constructing EVA suits and space vehicles that can land on the moon and Mars. They are getting closer. Because Polaris program representatives said building a base on the moon and a city on Mars would require thousands of spacesuits, the development of the suit and the execution of the EVA is an important step toward scalable design for spacesuits on future long-duration missions. SpaceX's first EVA suit is quite basic. To some extent, there'll be heavily modified versions of the SpaceX existing IVA suit design, but with much more advanced thermal management, an improved helmet and visor, and most importantly, the addition of a number of mechanized joints. As was the case with the early NASA EVA suit developed in the 60s, SpaceX's first EVA will receive consumables, power and communication through cables or tethers that connect to Dragon's life support. It will take SpaceX some time to develop a miniaturized portable life support system that's as safe and capable as the packs used on NASA's EVA suits. A tethered EVA suit will still allow SpaceX or private astronauts to perform EVAs and work on or inspect the exterior of the Crew Dragon or Starship spacecraft, capabilities that could save lives in certain emergency scenarios. 
SpaceX's first priority then will be to make sure the basics work well in space and that the suits actually allow astronauts to perform tasks that require good finger and limb dexterity without immediately exhausting themselves. Isaacman also said there are changes in materials on the upgraded suit to better shield astronauts from micrometeoroids and orbital debris, tiny square rocks or space junk fragments that could strike a crew member while they're outside the spacecraft on a spacewalk. All of this is just not on paper. SpaceX began training private astronauts for the first private spacewalk in spaceflight history in May of 2022. The training focused heavily on the EVA, offering either the two chosen crew members or all four candidates an opportunity to experience deep sea diving and test EVA suits both underwater and inside the Dragon capsule simulator. SpaceX is also heading to its first private spacewalk in history as few as three months from now. The first of up to three Polaris missions, Polaris Dawn, is currently scheduled to launch as early as December 2022. This will be the first private spacewalk in the history of spaceflight. While SpaceX is making good progress with its new high-end spacesuit, NASA, after 15 years of struggling, officially gave up on its new suits, handing the reins over to the commercial industry. Last year, NASA Office of Inspector General issued an audit of the agency's XEMU program, which wasn't good. The suit was intended to replace the current generation of EVA suits on the International Space Station and for lunar exploration with the Artemis program. The OIG's audit showed NASA's XEMU program was years delayed and required more funding to even meet new deadlines. The poor performance wasn't entirely NASA's fault. Congress repeatedly did not meet their requested funding year over year in budget, but it was not a good sign for a then 2024 or even a now 2025 crewed landing on the moon. To hopefully solve the issue, NASA did what it knows best and opened up the opportunity to buy the EVA services from the commercial sector. Musk shared on Twitter that while this process by NASA was going on, he was willing to help with the agency problem. Although a SpaceX-built EVA suit was only rumored then, this further cemented the rumor as fact. So it came as a surprise to many SpaceX fans when NASA announced the winners of the Exploration Extravehicular Activity Services XEVAS contract that there was no sign or word of SpaceX involvement. Now we know why. SpaceX didn't even submit a proposal to compete for NASA's spacesuit contract. Only the two winners did. Perhaps this time Musk and SpaceX just want to do it themselves. You know, the Artemis contract had enough drama for SpaceX and Elon Musk. And that about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget to share your ideas right there in the comment section because your support is motivation for us to create more quality content. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.